All right, folks, we are gonna be doing some work on the DR650 today, and what I would like to do is eliminate the rear fender. Uh, this is part of what some people call a tail tidy, and I think to do a proper tail tidy, you actually go with a smaller tail light as well. Uh, I'm not doing that right now, I might in the future. Probably the main reason why I wouldn't is because, yes, this is a very ugly tail light, but it's got an ugly box on the bike too, so it's not really gonna make the back end look that much better. Uh, but I do really like this bodywork line here. And then I also have this I picked up from Princess Auto. I, I took it apart just to see what it was all about, but um, this is just an auxiliary LED light. And so we'll put that in there so we will illuminate our license plate. But it shouldn't be too difficult, I don't think. You can buy little kits for this, but I thought, you know, we got all these tools, I got a shop, I might as well make something. I mean, it's always a good idea when you're working on your bikes, just put the fasteners back from where you got them. That way you don't lose them. No, uh -oh. <laughs> this thing might not come off this thing on here. Come on. Looking better already. <laughs> All right, now I need to figure out which cable's which. It's this one here. There you go. All right, look at this. Look at the improvement. That looks way better. I just wish there's a way, I don't think it's legal, but if you mount your license plate there, I don't think you're allowed to do that, but. So I think this is gonna be really straightforward. Looks like it's just gonna be a little bracket coming here and then down. Yeah, that's looking good. I'm just gonna make a little template out of cardboard. Figure out my dimensions. Once we get this, then we'll transfer this to the aluminum. You know, this actually might be too easy to do. This is insane. I like it. We'll transfer this to the aluminum, and then we'll put a little radius in it. We can mark the holes. And then I think what I'll do is I'll take that pigtail, uh, and that way I can use the factory connection, and then I'll solder it together, heat shrink it and stuff, but that way it'll be a plug and play, because this doesn't have enough on it. Now that's the beauty about working with aluminum is that you can use regular wood tools. So this is a wood cutting bit, but it cuts aluminum, no problem. Well, I didn't know I wasn't filming most of that, but I just rounded the corners, cleaned up these edges a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and put a bend in here. All right, so I just used this template, uh, used the same line, marked it out there. So that's where we are. Now, I don't know what this is actually gonna be like. To bend. Oh, not bad at all, actually. I think I'm going to want a little more than that, but we'll go try it out. We are going to give a little bit more of a bend. That's, that's probably about good. Marked out my holes. Okay, it's super fits. That's what I'm talking about. And then... Oh, 
Oh yes, I like that. So what we should do is mark out roughly where we want that to be. I think we want it right there. This is actually like way easier than I thought it would be. <clears throat> All right, well, it is actually the next morning. I didn't have screws that worked for this. Uh, so these are the holes that come in this little light and I ended up going to home hardware number three millimeters by 0.5 and wasn't sure if they were gonna work, but they were perfect. So, incidentally, I happen to have a 3.5 tap. So we will go ahead and lay this on here. Center it on there. I've got that line, which is where I want that edge to be. So we'll center that on there. We'll mark it, drill it, tap it. And I'm actually gonna silicone it onto here. I'll use Loctite on the threads. And then I'm even gonna put like goops of silicone around in here just to try and do whatever I can to make this thing actually, um, I don't know, right now it looks like it could be quite exposed to the elements. So we're gonna try and seal it up with silicone. And obviously the fact that it's gonna be sitting right here, you know, if it's raining, it's getting wet. So we need to do what we can to mitigate the problem. All right. Let's get at it. All right, so everything so far has been fairly non-committal, but uh, we just committed to the project. Okay, I believe we're ready for the final assembly here. This is the right thing to do. <laughs> but we're gonna find out. There, now that's waterproof. That is waterproof. Kind of looking at this now, I'm realizing this is a bit of a podunk job because I'm kind of impatient and I don't want to wait till I find the actual right, like good quality lights, but I think it'll be fine. All right, so here's what we ended up with. We've got our light on there and it works. I tested it out real quick. So now all we're going to do, we will bolt this right on there. And then we'll right up, route our wires around. And it should pretty much be a done deal. All right, well, I lost the footage. I don't know what happened. I just got an error message on this camera, but uh, we bolted this thing up Loctite. And then we routed our cables here. This is a little factory kind of wire holder. Put that back on, routed it in. Now all we got to do is plug this in. That was about a very good length of guesstimated cable that we needed. I tuck that in there. And when I turn the switch, the light should come on. <laughs> Sweet. All right, there it is. I think that looks a lot better. Much cleaner look at the rear end. I'll put a before picture in here so you can see it to after. And man, that was really not a big problem at all. Uh, oh, I'll give you the dimensions of the template I made in case, you know, if you're just curious what size of piece of steel or aluminum to use. All right, so here's a little piece that I made. This piece is eight inches by five inches. And then I came in about an inch and a half from either side and two inches. And so this obviously is three inches. And then I put this bend, if we're going from the top here, it's three and a quarter inches down. If you just screenshot this, it would help you out as a template if you decide to do this yourself. And I think that looks good quite like it. Thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, maybe gave you an idea of how easy this is to do yourself. See you in the next one. Cheers.